Hi guys, it's ASBYT and in this video, I'm gonna be going over the top seven VPNs that you can use in 2021. There are a lot of different reasons you may want to use a VPN, whether that be to unlock geolock content, remain anonymous when browsing the web, reduce the chances of getting hacked when using public Wi-Fi, identity theft, and much, much more. I've tried to suggest services in this video with those aforementioned reasons in mind, whilst also taking into account value for money. With every VPN service reviewed in this video, I'll go over the good points and bad points and break them down into five key areas. The overall features of how each VPN works, the sort of speeds you could expect, reputation and backstory of each company, platform quantity and quality, i.e. how many devices you can use and on which platforms, and quality and ease of use of those applications, etc. And of course, price and purchasing options. Two disclaimers. Number one, this is my list and I've chosen these specific services out of a whole bunch bunch of different providers that I have tried over the last few years. I haven't tested every single service provider, but I'd like to think I've got you covered on all of the most popular ones. That being said, if your favorite isn't in this list, don't hate the player. I am merely just one man. And I'm also not really a player. I'm a happily married man. <laughs> I'm just happy that you found a service that works for you like these have for me. And number two, this video is in no particular order and it's not been sponsored by any of the ensuing companies, i.e. no company has actually paid to be in this list. Having said that, the links that you will find in the video description below are affiliate links. So I will make a little bit of commission if you do go through and purchase any one of these services using them. I will throughout the year try my best to update those links as often as possible, providing you with the best possible prices around, sometimes even better than what is standard on the individual VPN websites. So let's cut the bullfrog and look at the first VPN, and thanks to Otterbox for sponsoring today's video. So first up is ExpressVPN. It's a very popular VPN that's available on pretty much every platform. Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, etc. It's also available as a browser extension and on all your major consoles. Enjoy unrestricted access worldwide, so it helps you pass content restrictions and censorship to deliver unlimited access to video, music, social media, and more from anywhere in the world. Stay secure and anonymous online. It hides your IP address and encrypts your network data so no one can see what you're doing. One click and you're protected. 160 locations, 94 different countries, and 24 hour support, and a 30 day money back guarantee. You can connect up to five devices on any one account, which is nice. The apps are slightly different on each platform, but they all have roughly the same features. So top left hand side, you have all your major options, which include your VPN locations that you can choose from, a speed test, which is handy, offering insight into download speeds and connection latency and preferences, etc. Once you've selected a server region, you simply click the power button icon and it will begin to connect to the server. So while here, let's talk speed tests. Firstly, I ran three tests without being connected to any of the VPNs to give an approximate download and upload speed for my Wi-Fi, which is usually around 50 download and 10 upload. Now, granted, that isn't the best speeds. I, I will, I'm well aware of that, but unfortunately, it's the best for where I am right now. I live on basically a farm, but that doesn't really matter here. It's more of a guide as to how much each VPN will potentially throttle my internet speeds. So that is the benchmark. So as you can see, ExpressVPN after being turned on doesn't actually appear to show any speed reductions really whatsoever. And I have chosen the same server on speedtest.net to run the tests to make it fair for all of the tests. ExpressVPN is known in the industry for providing some of the best speeds, so that's great. They promise that no activity or connection data logs are taken, which is promised by many services, but it's not actually been delivered by some. More on reputations for all of the services later. But one thing to note, the headquarters for ExpressVPN are based in the British Virgin Islands, which have no mandatory data retention laws, which a lot of people find is a good thing. And now on to price, and this is potentially one of the downsides to this service. It's fairly expensive compared to some of its competitors, unless you go with a long-term plan. Now, long-term plans are the most cost-effective way of any of the VPN services that I will be showing you today. But one disadvantage of this is you are relying on that service being available and working well in one, two, three three years time. Now, some VPNs have better reputations than others, as I've mentioned, but to be honest, ExpressVPN has got a pretty good track record with its service. The decision, as always, will be yours. Next up, we have PureVPN. Again, it's on all the major platforms, which is great, and they also offer similar things, browsing and downloading anonymity, gaining access to geolock content like US Netflix or BBC iPlayer or Sky Sports app when abroad. 
And speaking of sport, what on earth is happening with Chelsea at the moment? Rubbish! <laughs> But if you are looking to use a VPN for streaming, for example, then PureVPN has got a good reputation for that. When you go into the app using my phone this time, you have at the top left your account details, settings and your server locations. This is where you select which one you would like to choose and you can see your recent selections and set favourites here also. Once connected, you can go to connection details where amongst other things you can select to have your internet kill switch on if you want to. This basically means if you lose connection to a server within the VPN, of which there are 6,500 plus, which is really high, the VPN will automatically cut your connection to the internet completely until it's sorted to avoid data breaches, leakages, etc. This is a really handy feature and is available on lots of other top VPNs as well, but definitely something to look out for. In terms of speeds, I did actually notice in the test that I did, it wasn't quite as fast as some of the others. And this is definitely a good reason to buy trial a service and get your money back if you're not happy, because this will be different for everyone. I may have got it today. You may not have it where you are, etc., because it depends on servers, your location and all that jazz. If you buy a free trial and test it over a few days, if you're not happy, you get your money back, you go again, you try another service. It's as simple as that. Again, they incentivize you to go for one of the long-term options, which are very cheap, which is great, over the duration of the term, as you can see. Pure VPN headquarters are based in Hong Kong. So again, they have no data retention laws, as far as I'm aware. Um, but the relationship with China would be something to monitor because politically, if that were to change, then that may change data retention, etc. Next up is possibly one of the most feature-rich, most complete, most secure VPNs on the list, but it also has some drawbacks, as always, as you'll see. This is TorGuard. If you want a feature-rich, high-end VPN with great performance, then this might be the one for you. You can use it as an individual, but it also offers great packages for businesses as well. Anonymous VPN, Business VPN, Streaming Bundle, and Anonymous Email. 3000 plus servers, so not the most, but again, in the three tests that I carried out, I was getting some really good speeds. Now, personally, I think TorGuard is best for those of you who are already invested in the VPN space, know a lot about it, know what you're doing, and are looking for the utmost security features and have substantial knowledge to fully take advantage of those features that you're paying for. Stealth VPN, for example, makes your VPN invisible and thus impossible to block allowing you to directly bypass deep packet inspection and the world's strictest firewalls, even in countries that block VPN ports. Stealth VPN masks VPN traffic to make it look like normal web traffic, keeping your VPN use completely hidden. You have similar geolock content unlocking features and TorGuard uses AES-256 encryption with SHA-512 alongside unique uncrackable protocols like Stunnel, OpenVPN, SSTP and SSH tunnels. TorGuard really does have a great reputation for being one of the best in class in this area of a VPN setup. On the flip side, if you just want a service for basic VPN features like watching Netflix in the US, for example, if you're based in the UK, geolock content, that sort of that kind of that kind of stuff. While TorGuard does that for sure, its apps are quite clunky, and sometimes I feel they're a little overcomplicated to use for the average consumer. And it doesn't appear as easy as some other services to navigate and set up on certain platforms. Also, another potential negative is its headquarters are based in Florida in the US. And while they promise no logs, etc. And outside of one, I think, data breach in 2017, some don't like VPNs to be based in certain countries like the States. Some, not all. Nope. Some other VPNs on this list have also had data breaches, etc. over many years that they've been in service. So if this is a crucial area that you want to look out for, do your own due diligence. Next up, we have WeVPN, and this one is quite unique because they actually list the inner workings of the company almost by naming the actual main people in charge. And this is quite rare for these sorts of companies. And this only adds to the sort of trust that I personally feel and others feel with the service. Because if your company was a bit shady, would you put your name to it? I'm not so sure. Many of the people that help to create the service have a long-standing history in the virtual private network industry, and it really shows. Speeds were not the highest of all tested, but certainly more than respectable with very little throttle and all the apps and extensions are very user friendly, simple, easy, and they just work really well. You can quickly and easily change DNS, protocol and privacy settings, decide how you want to auto connect and even toggle between light and dark themes and add to Siri, obviously if you're using an iPhone. 
the software kind of feels like one of the most modern, if that makes any sense. And the website is dead easy to navigate, clearly showing the platform availability features and benefits. Note, it's not available currently yet for Linux, so that may sway your opinion if you are a Linux fan and don't know what I'm doing with that. that you might be a rocker each their own. Where am I going? Now again, WeVPN has all of the major features that you need from a VPN, including unlocking global streaming, the ability to download P2P files safely, better travel rates, as you should know, when booking trips to go abroad, if you actually connect to a server in another country, you may actually get better rates for your travel, bookings, hotels, etc. Worth a try. Insider knowledge there. It's not really insider knowledge because I don't work in the travel industry, but we move on. And I also like this feature called WeBlock, which helps to protect you from ads, trackers, and malware. Again, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. And in terms of price, WeVPN is one of the cheapest if you're looking for a monthly rolling deal, which is great. On the flip side, if you are looking for the cheapest possible price of all time, and are happy to go long term, then it's a very good price, but it's not quite as cheap as our next VPN on the list, which is of course Surfshark. Coming in at insanely cheap prices and using the link below, I think there's an additional three months free as well. Crazy cheap, but we don't want just cheap because cheap, as you know, isn't always good. So what do we get here with Surfshark? Similar to WeVPN, I feel this service caters to people that love simplicity and has a modern and fresh interface and is available on unlimited devices under one account. And again, that makes it feel even cheaper. It's got an ad blocking feature called CleanWeb and it has 15 network libraries, which is one of the highest of any VPN and a whitelist of feature allowing you to select apps that can bypass the VPN connection if you so wish. Kill switch, AES256 encryption and no logs promises again as well. In the app, you have really nice customizable settings, server locations to choose from and multi-hop, which allows you to jump between two servers for added security. And speaking of servers, again, 3000 plus and some of the fastest speeds available, up there with Express and TorGuard on the average and definitely one to consider. The next one is an incredibly popular VPN and it has some great, huge points, but also it's not perfect. NordVPN. Now Nord is one that I have used for a very long time. Its compatibility for streaming is one of its strong points and it has a huge amount of servers, over 5,500. I like the Onionova VPN feature which combines the standard Nord encryption the VPN provides with an added Tor layer for extra security. Double protection helps with an added layer of security also. CyberSec is available to block malware and ads and it has hundreds of P2P servers, a kill switch and you can use it on six devices on any one account. There is a promise of no logs or data leaks again and ultra fast speeds. Now there was a reported breach back in 2018, I think in a, uh, from a Finnish server. No logs or passwords were apparently taken, but again, something to research. And the speeds have been, again, very, very good. The app shows a large map and you can click on certain countries of your choice if you want to choose a server like that. And you have a quick connect button at the top right, or you can select from a country and individual servers within that country on the left hand side, which is cool. Settings also at the top left, including auto launch when the computer starts, cybersec, as we've mentioned, you can also choose your VPN protocol and you can choose custom presets, appearance, etc. Available on all the major platforms again, and some really great prices. Are you still here? Really? It's been a long one. I'll, I'll give you credit for that. You've got some VPN stamina. Come on, next one. Of course, is a VPN service that I have probably used more than any other, simply due to the fact that I was an early adopter of this specific service and I've used it on and off since. Um, but it's the first one that brought me into the VPN space. So for that, thank you, IP Vanish. It's another hugely popular service with some huge features, but as always, it's not perfect. You can choose either just a VPN service or you can have a storage option as well. It's another service that is offered on multiple platforms and you can connect up to 10 devices on any one account, including Linux and routers and no logs as expected are promised. All very nice. But in my tests, this time the speeds weren't the highest. Yes, this will be different for everyone as mentioned, but definitely test your speeds with your free trials before you go through with a full purchase, especially if you're looking at a long-term plan. And if you're not happy after a few days, as I've already said, change it, switch it up, choose another service using the links because you get the best prices and I get that sweet, sweet commission chonga wonga in my back. Chonga wonga. <laughs>
The apps are okay, they work fine, they are not the most modern feeling, similar to Torguard, I feel they could do with a slight revamp, a lick of paint if you will, as they haven't really changed that much in the last few years. But it does have all the main things you need, quick connect, server list and account on the left, server information and connection is also visible, with quick access on the right. On the phone it's a similar idea, settings at the top right, server on the top left or at the bottom, and it works fine, but just looks a little bit naff. Sorry IPV, I've, I've got to be honest, it is what it is. Based in Panama, again no data retention laws, a plus for many, and price wise it's okay? It's not the best, it's not the worst, it's kind of in the middle. It's a well established big name VPN and sometimes you pay the price for that. So I mentioned up till now about reputation on a couple of them. They were just some of the things that came to mind. All of the services have certain things that have happened over the years, the nature of the VPN industry. Do your own research, but they all on the whole do a very good job. You may be wondering why none of these services are free services. And that's simply because I don't have a very strong opinion on free VPNs. That's not to say they don't work. For some people, if you're just looking for a free VPN to, again, the sort of geolock content stuff, if you go abroad, you want BBC iPlayer, you can use perfectly well a free VPN. But if you're looking to use a VPN for security, for example, I would like to know where the free VPN services get their income from. That's the only thing that's in the back of my head because we all know the data is money, and I think you would be a little bit naive to go and get a free VPN, not thinking that somewhere down the line your information might be going somewhere. I can't say that for sure. It's just my hunch. So I would prefer to pay a little bit of money to a service and, and have that added layer of security and peace of mind. So go and grab one of those great VPNs and use them on your phones, laptops, computers, gaming consoles as well. And that is a perfect segue into today's video sponsor, Otterbox. Otterbox are famed for providing popular smartphone case protection, but they are now developing accessories for next-gen gaming as well. I just got an early sneak peek of their brand new accessory portfolio, and it looks fresh. Not only have they created new mobile gaming accessories, but also ones specifically for Xbox controllers. Now you are getting the inside scoop here because these are not yet available, but stay tuned to the channel because I will be showcasing some of them very, very imminently right here. So as you can see, seven great VPN services that you can use in 2021. Links to all of them will be left, as I said, in the video description below with some of the best prices around right now. Like this video if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Share it with friends and family if they're interested in getting a new VPN service and want all of the latest information. Subscribe to the channel if you love everything tech. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.